Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about two ideas uh, of sequence. One is recurrence relation, and the other is summation notation. Now, there are many, many different types of sequences. I'm just going to introduce these two ideas or review them if you already know them uh, using using uh, this simple example. Using this sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Right. Now, the first thing we need to do when we see a sequence is to notice the, the pattern. And in this sequence, each number uh, you can get by adding 2 to the previous number. Okay. So, I might, uh, if I think about this as 1, then this would be this can be 1 plus 2, this can be 1 plus 2, which is that one, plus another 2, so 1 plus 2 times 2, and this can be, this will be 1, 1 plus, this one will be uh, 2 times 2, and then you add another 2, becomes 2 times 3 and so on. So the pattern here is that each time you add another 2. Okay. So for the second term you add a 2. For the third term there are 2 of the 2's. For the fourth term there are 3 of the 2's and so on. So therefore we would expect that for the nth term for the nth term we should get something like 1 plus 2 okay, times n minus 1. All right, for, for the second term, you have 1 of the 2. For the third term, you have 2 2's. For the fourth term, you have 3 2's, and so on. So for the nth term, you have n minus 1, 2's. So, this means that I can actually think of this as a formula for the nth term. And we all, uh, th there are different ways to, to uh, represent the nth term. Uh, one, one symbol that is used is Tn. So if you see Tn, uh, it, when you look at uh, questions on sequences, Tn would normally mean the nth term. So in this particular example, in this particular example, Tn will be one plus two of n minus one. Okay. So we have here the idea of a formula for the nth term. Now. A recurrence relation refers to the, to the relation between uh, one term and the next term. Now, if you look at this, the first two terms, you can get this term, second term from the first term by adding a 2. If you look at the third term, you can get it from the second term by adding a 2. So you can always get the next term by adding a 2. Okay. And this idea, this idea of getting a term from the previous term, is exactly what a recurrence relation means. Okay, let me write this down. Recurrence relation. So, a recurrence relation is the relation between one term and the next term. 
And if I want to think of a general formula, I would think of a relation between uh, the nth term and the n. Well, we would call it the n plus ones term. So if I think of this term here as tn, then the n plus one term would be t of n plus one. And from this pattern, we already know that I I should be able to get the n plus one term by adding a two to the n term. Okay, and, and all I need is to write this down as an equation t of n plus 1, the nth term is equal to, uh, the n plus 1 term is equal to the n term plus a 2. And this would be the recurrence relation for this sequence. And of course, um, this this in in this example these two these two uh, relations for t the nth term and for the recurrence relation these two formulae would only work for this particular sequence. If I have another sequence with different numbers and, and a different pattern, um, then these these equations this formulae would be different. It would be different. It would depend on the actual sequence that we are talking about. Okay, but the idea, the idea of having an nth term and having a recurrence relation, can continue to 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 uh, apply. We can continue to think, try and find find a formula for an nth term, or try and find a recurrence relation. Uh, for even if the sequence is different, right? Although the actual formula would would also be different. Okay. And and let me let me uh, write down uh, the summation the summation notation. Okay, or introduce this idea if, if you have not seen this uh, previously. The summation notation is um, it's a, a, a short hand notation. All right, it's, it's a notation to write down the sum uh, of a sequence, sum of the numbers in a sequence up to a certain number of terms. So, for example, for example, if I want to add all these uh, numbers from one. Three, five, seven, nine. Okay. If I want to do that, I can say one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine. So that's fine. But if let's say I want to say uh, I want to add up all these terms until the one hundred term. All right. I want to keep adding until I I've added up one hundred of these terms then it would be it would take a bit long to write out all 100 terms so instead of writing out the whole lot instead of writing out the whole lot it would be easier if we have a shorthand notation we have some kind of a short form that we can use and the way is to make use of um, the formula for the nth term because basically each of this can come from this formula for tn this let's say the first term we can get from the nth term formula just by substituting n equal to 1 and we get 1 if I substitute n equals to 2 I get the second term n equals to 3 gives me the third term you can try it out. Okay, so this is a formula that can give me each and every one of these numbers. Okay, so I can make use of this. All I need is a notation that tells me that, given this formula, if I have this formula, 
then just add up all the numbers uh, from n equals to for n for the first term to n for the say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th term alright so for n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay add up all all the numbers given by this formula so this is what I can write first I would write down this formula 1 plus 2 um, now uh, okay 1 plus 2 and minus 1 okay and I know that n n when n is 1 it gives tn would give this when n is 2 tn gives this okay no, let's say this is t1 this is t2 t3 and so on uh, until t5 okay and that's that's the formula for tn so I want a symbol that tells me that I want to add up all, all the terms from the first to the fifth. And the symbol is this symbol. Alright, this thing here. Now, this thing, this symbol here, is actually the Greek letter, a Greek letter uh, called sigma. Sigma. Okay, so it's a, it's, it's a Greek letter. So we use this symbol to to mean to, to mean that uh, to tell us that we, we want to we want to add uh, the terms and to indicate uh, that we want to add from the first to the fifth term, I would put one at the bottom and five on top. So one to five. Okay. Now and and just just in case just in case I uh, I have a formula uh, in which there are other other um, symbols or letters apart from n. Okay, maybe I have an a there and a b there and, and so on. Maybe there are also other symbols. So so just in case, uh, I I would need to know that. It is n. It is n that I want to take uh, as numbers from one to five. So, so to 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 make sure that that the one and the five here refers to this particular letter n, I would put a little n down here, and and the equal sign. So this means that when n is, I I, I want to add up all these. All the terms given by this formula, uh, starting from n equals to one, putting n equals to one in, into this formula to to get a value, and then doing it again, getting uh, this value for n equals to two and so on, all the way up to ten, n equals to, to five. All right, so get the value for this formula for n equals to one, n equals to two, and so on up to five. And this will give us also, us all of these numbers, and then adding the whole lot up. So that's what this sigma notation means: adding the whole lot up. So, so this, this, then, all right, this sum here, then is exactly what this notation means. And we can imagine that if I have a different formula for the tn, all right, I can use that different formula here. And then I would get a different sequence.